first. With a little bit of concealer, you're going to do a, a little swish of concealer over the mouth to give you a base. What the concealer does is it gives you something stable to put your lipstick on and also um, corrects any of the pink that might come through and change the color of the lip. Now, one of the tricks that I like to use is to apply the lipstick with my finger. Just open your lip. No, relax. There we go. What this does is it helps you to bring out the shape of the mouth. You have little muscles along your lip line. And if you use a finger, it will naturally stop at your lip line. This is a very quick way to start your lip. Now that you have the basic shape, you can go in with a pencil and fill in exactly where you need. Starting at the corner, you'll pull the line up towards your cupid's bow. Because you already have a bit of color on the mouth, it makes filling in much easier and you have a better and clearer idea of where you're going with this. When you're doing your lip line, you want to have your mouth closed. That's the natural state of your lips. And when you're filling it in, you'll get the perfect shape. You want your lips to look perfect when the mouth is closed. A red mouth does take a little bit of time to do. If you have a thinner lip on top or on the bottom, you don't want to exaggerate the line further than the width of the actual pencil tip. As soon as you start to go beyond that, if any of your lighting changes, you'll see that you're overpainting your mouth and that doesn't look good. Just by using small little baby strokes. Then, with a brush and a little bit of concealer, you'll just go back and touch up the base into the line. Again, start from your corner and pull in. There you go, a red lip.